Hi, this is Patty with Sleepy Glen Homestead. Um, I thought I'd bring you along today and show you how I dehydrate um, some of my things around the homestead here. Um, what I've got here is some spearmint. And I really like spearmint tea. And yesterday I went out to my spearmint plants around the, the greenhouse and I just snipped away. And it was getting kind of big. So I uh, brought all this into the house and I put it in the kitchen sink and I just um, let it soak for probably about a half an hour and I added a little bit of my homemade vinegar and um, I'll do a video and show you how I make my own vinegar. Um, and I did find some bugs which is why I soaked it because I don't want to be drinking bugs. Um, so anyways, I've, I've started loading up my Cabela dehydrator, which I got for Christmas. Thank you very much, Keith. It's wonderful. And um, so I'm just I'm just trying to only get the leaves. If I get some sticks, it's quite all right. It doesn't matter because when I go through, and I'll show you in the end uh, what I do with all of this when it's done dehydrating, and I'll also tell you my dehydration times. Um, I can easily just you know sift out the sticks. So. Um, just gonna get some of this done here right real fast I mean I'm sure you know how to pull and I'm just not gonna do these big branches there's no reason to it's it's the leaves that you want okay so I've I've got a tray full and I've got about 13 trays in here or 12 something like that crazy so I'm just gonna make sure that um, nothing is too compact it's laying out so that it'll get enough air also, what I forgot that I had in here, which is fine, it's already dehydrated. A friend of mine gave me some garlic scapes, and so I cut them up and I dehydrated my garlic scapes. And what I could do with those when I'm done is I can grind them up and use it in my baking. They look kind of disgusting, but um, they're real dry, you can tell. So I'll just throw them in my food processor and grind them up and I'll use them in soups, stews, eggs, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, okay, so this morning I also wanted to tell you this is really, really cool. I'm so excited. This morning I went out to the, the garden on the hill and I've got sugar snap peas. And this is everything that I pulled up today. And I'm going to have to be going out every single morning and um, getting these because they're just... They're, they're there, it's time. And these are, um, you actually don't want them your, if you've never grown them before, you don't want your sugar snap peas, sugar and peas, they got many names. If you leave them on too long, they'll get a string on the back of them, which is easy enough to just pull off, but. Mm. They taste good like this dip them in ranch, throw them in a stir fry, throw them in your soups, whatever. Throw them in a casserole and they're good for you. I just love eating. I ate probably about 40 of these before I brought them in the house. Don't tell Keith. He likes them. Grandma loves them. I can't keep her hands out of them, but I'm hoping to have enough to take to the farmer's market this weekend. If we go this weekend. I don't know if I'll have enough. I'm hoping I'll have enough. Okay. We had a problem um, up on the hill with a deer coming in, eating the tops of all of my my green bean plants. And she didn't do too much damage, but she did enough damage. So we have um, put up a makeshift fence. It looks kind of funky, but she wasn't there this morning. So it might be working. And I'll show you that in another video. Um, what else we've we been doing? Oh, I replanted today, um, some more green beans because of the deer eating some of my green beans. I just love green beans. I want to can a lot of green beans up because we, we can go through some green beans in this house. So I got probably three more 50 foot rows. Actually it's a 50 foot row and I did three rows in that 50 foot row. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that tonight after dinner. We're going to replant some watermelon just fill in the gaps Throw some watermelon seed in you can never have enough. So when that first harvest is over 
the second harvest will be coming in. Um, my cherry tomatoes, I think they're called the sunburst or they're yellow um, cherry tomatoes. They are coming on prolifically. My German Johnsons are starting to produce. They're bigger than the size of a pea now. My Wisconsin 55s are starting to um, grow and my Dakota Sports are starting to grow. My Roma tomatoes are not growing yet, which is fine because I'm going to use a lot of them for canning. Um, I was told that there was a shortage at the farmer's market last year for Roma tomatoes. So folks, if you're watching this and you come to our farmer's market here where I live, I will have Roma tomatoes and I better quit playing with this. I just want to eat it. Today, a friend of mine ordered, um, uh, meat birds. She didn't just order them. She ordered them like a couple of months ago and asked me if I wanted some. And I said, of course. So we got 25 meat birds in today. So in eight to 10 weeks, we'll be processing these little guys. Can't wait. Keith was busy, busy, busy out there on the hill. I'll show you what he did for me. Check this out. <laughs> I wish we had a baler. We could really use a baler. Does anybody know? We need a small square baler. Um, that will fit a 25 horsepower tractor. Anyways, he cut all of this beautiful, oh, I love the way this stuff smells, um, all this grass from the hill. So this is probably way too much for the little guys, but I'll be um, using this um, while the baby chickens are inside of that tub um, when, I have to, when I have to clean it out. So what else I've been doing here, um, I've been making soap. I've got some coconut hair bars that I made. I've got some lavender soap. It smells delicious. I mean, if, if you had uh, Smell-O-Vision, this smells really good. I made some really cool orange soap. Mm, orange vanilla soap, that's what this is, with a little, um, they call it like an eyeliner in here. It smells really good. And... I also bagged up, packaged up my other soaps. I hope I have them right. Yeah. I packaged up my other soaps to sell at the farmer's market. So um, just some things we've been doing around here. It's just been so busy. Sometimes I get going on a project and I forget to grab the camera. So it's not like I'm not doing anything around here. I'm really, really busy. It's nonstop. Also, I uh, made some vanilla. And I just bought some rum and some Madagascar vanilla beans. And this this batch here, I made it about three months ago, and it smells delicious. Um, this is one that I just um, started the other day, and you can see the. Let me do that again. The vanilla beans are in there with the rum, and every time I walk in here, I give it a little shake. And I got more in here. Yummers. I asked the University of Kentucky <laughs> Extension Office if I can sell vinegar, or not vinegar, if I can sell the vanilla at the farmer's market. And um, they had to have the Farmer's Market Association of Kentucky call me and say, no, I can't because it has alcohol in it. And But I, I, I could if I went to a commercial market commercial kitchen I'm not gonna do that so I might just slide somebody under the table and say if you want vanilla come get it but um every time I walk down here in the basement I take everything off the shelf and give it a good shake okay so that's all I have for you for today um, but obviously there's gonna be more on this um, as soon as I get all of my mint dried up I will come back and show you what I do with it and how I store it and um, I'll give you an update on the baby birds. Hopefully we don't lose any overnight. The first day is always the hardest. Um, our friend said that there was one DOA when they picked them up from the post office today. So, okay, it's the next day. Um, and let's check to see how the, the mint uh, dehydrated. I did 110 degrees for four hours yesterday. So not sure how it's gonna look, but let's find out. Oh, that looks very nice. Very nice. 
and it's crumbly. If there's any pieces that aren't dry enough, because you don't want to store anything with moisture in it, um, you, I'll have to run it back through for another cycle, but um, I'll take all these little stems out. Although they do smell pretty good. Maybe I'll leave them in. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave them in. Okay, so I'm just gonna crumble these up and then when I get all that done, you don't need to watch me do that. I'm gonna um, just put them in this container here and put a lid on it and I'm gonna mark my lid mint and the month and I'm sure I will get this full before the end of the season. Okay, and next, I went out and my broccoli was starting to go to seed, so I went ahead and harvested about 75% of my broccoli that's in greenhouse number two. And you know, this stuff doesn't look half bad. Let me find a nice one, one that I could pull out. See, very pretty. They're not real big, but you know, we got it started late, late in the season. So I'm gonna put some water in this bowl and put it in the refrigerator just to make sure they stay hydrated so we can eat them fresh or maybe sell them at the farmer's market, who knows. Okay, let's get on to the garlic. All right, so I'm gonna process my garlic scapes that a friend gave me, and you can really tell that these are really dry. So I'm just gonna load them up into my food processor. Okay, I got them in my food processor, and I'm just going to give it a little pulse, see what happens. Okay, I've been doing this for probably about five minutes, and um, is it worth it? Let's find out. My machine is really hot. Um, I switched it to pulse and back again, and I've still got some oh. I've still got some big chunks in there, but you know what? I'm not going to overheat my machine for the sake of powdering this up, so um, I'm just going to call it good. I can add this to soups, stews, uh, beans, whatever I'm making. I can just add this to it. Okay, there you have it. So here's my garlic scapes. Doesn't look bad. It smells, it smells really good. All right, let's do an update on all the babies. Look at them. Look at this guy over here. Hey, little, little girl. These are all little girls. There we go. This is what they look like. Cute little things. Okay, they all did well last night. We didn't have any casualties, so that's a good thing. And they're all very spunky very alert they're drinking a lot they're eating food and they're getting their rest and they're warm enough so that's the update on the babies okay well this is going to wrap it up for me um just to let you know we are busy around here on the homestead um i was out early this morning and i added to my beans that i picked yesterday so uh, i picked two pounds today so if you like this video hit the thumbs up um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We would love your support and hit that notification bell so that you know um, when we put up another video. Okay, take care. Thanks. God bless.